What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today what we're going to be working on for our 300ZX is our carbon canister delete. So this video is going to be pretty short, pretty easy, really quick to the point for you guys because um, a lot of people have asked me, sent me messages on uh, Instagram, through the YouTube, or through our uh, email. And they just asked like, how do you guys route the, our carbon canister delete like what do we ha what do I have to do where does it go this and that so I already did this on the drift cart once so it should be pretty simple so looking into the engine bay on a left-hand drive car on the left-hand side frame rail what you're gonna see is this line here it comes under the headlight this like weird snake braided line here here it runs all the way through there right there it's gonna go under the car and it's gonna run to the gas tank well this line where it runs to is it's gonna run down under here to this this is our carbon canister this is what we want to delete this thing is big and bulky and disgusting um, I'm gonna make this as simple and as dummy proof as possible for you guys this is how easy it is you're gonna want to disconnect this hose here and you're gonna want to run a line from this line to this line and that's it so we're gonna take this line off, delete this whole entire carbon canister. You don't have to worry about this tree plugging up anything, anything like that. All you're doing is running again a line from here. It's gonna come down under the headlight, through under here, and it's gonna go right to here. And that's it. guys so as you can see the carbon canister is now hanging down um, just to the fact that I took this line off here and then I also disconnected the tree bracket that runs up top into there so this bracket here this bracket these two bolt holes bolt up to there so you can kind of just bend that get it out of the way and then the hard part is where they put this actual bolt here, this 10 millimeter bolt here, it's kind of against your uh, water reservoir. So what I did is I just got like a rack, ratcheting wrench, kind of when this was in its bracket, I kind of pulled the bottom of it and then started ratcheting wrench and I it got out perfect. You can bend this out of the way, then all you do is bend this up and then this slips right out. Now all we gotta do is undo this bracket and then uh, there is a line back here with a clamp on it, all we're gonna do is take the clamp off, take that off, and then like I said, we're just gonna route that line from uh, the frame rail, run it under this, run it down and along here and along here, and then bang, and it'll go right there and you're done. It's pretty simple, so let's do that. And the last bolt to remove the uh, actual tree, if I can get you guys in there, right there on that bracket 10 millimeter so this is the last thing to get the tree out right there so I have my line drawn and that's it it's literally that simple line goes down through here I tucked it under this uh, wiring harness to the fuse box tucked it under comes right through there as you can see this bracket holds in that uh, cold air intake piping so that's how it's going to be bolted up so I ran it through there I'm going to self tie uh, self tapper like a little clip here just so this stays out of the way but I mean nothing's going to be here anyways and it goes right down to that line here so now there's a couple Z's that uh, people have asked me and they're like I don't have this here um, if you don't have this here you will have this notch all you have to do is honestly it, this is like the tube that it's going to is just going into the frame rail that's it so all you got to do is just like Get a self tapper with like a little uh, clip just to hold the line here and you're good to go. So that's it guys, that's a carbon canister delete. So nice little how to video for you guys right off the rip there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So that being said, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button up here. If you guys wanna see any more how to videos or any drifting videos, click one of these. I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.